Welcome to Illusions at the Table. My name is Andy Wallace, and for those of you who have seen this show before, you have a general idea of what to expect. But for those of you who this is your first time seeing this show, well, this is a half hour full of magic. Now, when you think of uh, the term magic, you might think of uh, big stages, uh, live animals, big boxes, that kind of stuff that you see out in Vegas. This show is different. This is all about magic that is done right here within this area. And so to start off, uh, I'm not, I'd like to use cards and coins here. In fact, I'm doing a little bit of uh, card magic. I have a helper for this one. Uh, would you please uh, well, join me on camera here? Absolutely. All right. Welcome, Mike. Now, what I have here, again, I don't have a full deck, but I have here four cards. All right. Now, these are separate from a full deck because you normally don't find these kind of cards in a deck. Well, at least not all these. What they are are jokers. And I, in fact, I have four of them. Now, here, here's what I'd like you to do. Would you please uh, hold out both hands for me, please? OK. Now, here's what we'll do. We'll set one of the jokers here. And I have myself another one of the jokers. Right here. And this one we'll also put in this hand. Right. Uh, actually, come to think of it, we, I got to do something before we go any further with this trick. You see these jokers? They have to go take them and I just kind of place them in your hands Ooh. face down. Okay. Okay. So now, so now you have your two cards. So those, that, let's see, that was weird. Oh, that's why. Okay. So now, f let's see if I remember how we do this all here. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. This is a little, uh, little strange here for us. Magic works in mysterious yes. ways. Yes. So you have your, t you have your two cards here, and I of course have my one, two jokers over here. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to show you, even though there's a good distance between us. I'm going to try and uh, switch our jokers. That, I know that sounds a little weird, but here, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to do it slow motion first. And that's how you switch cards. Now, you're never actually going to see cards switch like this. No, I'll, I'll, let me show you how card switching really works if you're going to go out big time. Watch. All I'll do is I have to do bing and that. That's all it takes. I know, it seems, seems weird, right? No, I switch the cards, our jokers. You take a look at your cards. Oh, whoa, whoa. Graces. <laughs> Round of applause. Wow. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're getting a little warmed up here. Let's see. And we'll get back to these guys in just a minute. And we'll get back to the aces. Magicians love aces. But we're going to put those aside for right now. Now, as I mentioned before, I like doing both card magic and coin magic. And Mike, do you mind staying and helping me for just one more little bit, bit of magic? Absolutely. Okay. So switching from uh, cards over to coins, over here in my pocket, what I have here are one, two, three, four coins. Four half dollars. Now here's, now here's the I simple idea. One, two, three, four coins. Four coins, fair? Yeah, that's four. All right, so four coins over here in my right hand. And again, one, two, three, four coins here, right? Yes, absolutely, that's four. Now, watch. You won't hear it, but you'll see it. Now, my, my wrists are a good distance apart, right? Yeah. But that's all I have to do. You see, I have one coin here, and over in the left hand, one, two, three coins. How the? Okay, yeah, I know. Seems weird, right? Okay. That's the first coin. We're going to see if we can't do it with the other three coins as well. <laughs> so that's the first coin. We still have these three coins here to go as well. One, two, three. Yep, one. You're counting, right? Don't I'm, worry. I'm making sure I'm counting this time. All right, so we'll try and do this. We have one. We have two. Three coins. Again, mm -hmm. we have our, our coin over here. And I'll try and do this nice and slowly for you. You won't, you might, you'll see it at the end, but you'll hear it. Two coins. No way. And two coins. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. Now I didn't realize you're going. What the, what the heck is going on? I don't. I don't know what this guy is doing. He's doing some sort of voodoo over here. All right. We're I'm going to try and make this easier for you. Actually, what I want you to do is hold on to these two coins. That's going to eliminate it. Now, now that should be a little bit easier. We have one coin over here mm -hmm. and one coin. So just two coins to keep track of. So we have my two coins here and your two coins over there, right? Yep, one, two. All right, so we're going to try and keep this 
relatively simple. Watch. And that's all it takes. One coin? One coin. All right. Now, now you see, here's the whole thing about this, why people get suspicious. I've been doing this in my hands the whole time, right? So I, maybe I'm doing something strange. I want to eliminate that. We've had three coins go across. Would you please open up your hand one more time? We're going to try and make it go from my hand to your hand. All right. Yeah, that's going to be strange. Watch. We take the last coin. Ding! Yeah, I know. Terrible joke. Terrible joke. <laughs> right. Very bad joke. All right. Here's what I want you to do. I'm going to take this last coin. Close up your hand, please. All right. So nice and solid. I've got one coin. You've got three coins. Your hand is nice and tight. Yep. I'm in trouble. <laughs> But we have one last coin here. Am I allowed to put both hands on yeah, it? Yeah, go ahead. Put both Ooh. hands on it for me, please. <laughs> I've got one last coin. Um, watch. Put some two things in them. Little squeeze. All it takes. Would you please open your hand? I'm afraid to. Go ahead, please. Count out the yeah, coins for us. That's uh, one, two, three, and four right there. Four coins. Round of applause for him. Round of applause. Thank you for watching the first couple things, and we'll be back right after this for more magic. My first week home was great. They left me up on, on their shoulders. and the first week back, people just said thank you. They just said thank you. A new generation of veterans is coming home. Make a difference for them at welcomebackveterans.org. Attention students and faculty. Avery Rental Properties is now renting for the next school year. Avery accommodates all group sizes, small or large. Avery Rental Properties, make our house your home. 24-hour maintenance, garbage removal, snow removal, and off-street parking. Avery Rental Properties, 315-343-5005. Hi, we're Real Big Fish. And you're watching WTOP10. Like the number. The 2013 Lewis B. O'Donnell Media Summit. Moderated by ESPN sports broadcaster and class of 87, Steve Levy. Coming to Waterman Theater November 6th. Stay connected by visiting mediasummit.org for updates. <laughs> this can't be happening. This can't be happening. Of course it's not happening. Armored car. Listen, having money isn't about luck. Make your own coffee, save a thousand bucks a year. Feed me. Feed the pig. Welcome back to Illusions at the Table. My name is Andy Wallace, and this is a show that's a half hour full of pure magic. Now, for this next trick, I brought my uh, good friend here, Lauren. Hello. All right, now, Lauren, again, I like card tricks. You like card tricks. I, know. I think this is going to work out perfectly for us. I think so too. Now, when I started out the show, I used four aces, and I did say that magicians love their four aces. And so I just kind of pull them out of the deck. That way, I don't have to go looking for them. But we have here our four aces. I'll pull up. So our four aces. And we're just going to we're gonna just going to go for right now, and place the aces over here. We'll get back to them in just a moment. Now, before we do anything else, no need card selected yet, but I do need a prediction card. All right. And let's see. I'm going to go and use this card here. Now, I don't know what that card is. You don't know what that card is. It's our mystery card. All right. And yeah, we'll deal with that one in just a moment. Now is where you come in. What I need you to do is, uh, would you please select a card for me? Anyone you want. OK. Now I'm going to turn my head. I want you to please show the camera. And in fact, not only that, but I have a Sharpie here. 
What I want you to do is uh, take the cap off the Sharpie and actually sign your name across the face of the card. That way you'll be able to recognize it later. Okay? Now, uh, can we your card face down, please? Oh. Yep. You can put the Sharpie right here. Right. Now, again, this is your card, right? Mm -hmm. Here. I have no idea what it is. If it goes on top of the deck, that's not very fair. So we'll just go and give it a quick cut. And for those who are skeptical, split the deck here and give it a shuffle. So now your cards, the deck's mixed up, and your card is somewhere here in the deck, right? Yes. OK. So now, as I said, we will get back to our four aces. Right, so we've got your card. So back to the four aces over here. So all four of them. Move the deck out of the way. We're done with that for now. And as you can actually see, we do in fact have all four aces. Now, uh, we're going to try a, actually a little trick with the aces on their own. Again, magicians love their aces and love to do things with their aces. So here's how it works. We have one of the aces, one of the black one. And this ace goes on top of our mystery card over here. We have one, two, three other aces. And if we take a look here, we have the other black ace. And like the first black ace, this one goes near the mystery card. It goes under. So black, black aces over here. What aces do I have left? The red one. Right. Well, this is all I do. That's all it takes. One, two aces. Both the black aces. Now, that, that's pretty impressive, <laughs> but we're, we're not done there yet. You see, we've had our cards sitting over here all over the time. See, we have a red ace, and we had the other red ace, right? There's been one card in the middle sitting over here before we did anything else. Would you please remove that card? And show them what it is. Okay. Well, Boom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lauren, so much. No, it was excellent. You. And we will be back right after this for some more magic. Rainbow, my pot of gold. Your daddy's little girl till heaven home. Come it's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is drunk driving. Hey, I'm RJ. What do you mean it's not coming in? And that was DJ. We have a show on WTOP that's going to be premiering on Wednesday, October 2nd at 1130 called Weekend in Oz. And you should watch it because you will enjoy it. And don't drop that dot dot off. And that. Attention students and faculty, Avery Rental Properties is now renting for the next school year. Avery accommodates all group sizes, small or large. Avery Rental Properties, make our house your home. 24-hour maintenance, garbage removal, snow removal, and off-street parking. Avery Rental Properties, 315-343-5005. It's easy to tell if you've had way too many. But what if you've had just one too many? Buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back to Illusions at the Table. My name is Andy Wallace, and this is a half hour full of magic done right here in this area. Nothing big, Vegas with fancy boxes or live animals. Done a lot with cards and coins, and uh, this time I have uh, my good. I have Seamus up here to help me out. Now, uh, during the break, I took out some cards from the deck. Uh, four cards, the four queens, because this is all I need for this effect right now. And I have four of them. So, uh, Seamus, here's what I need you to do. Uh, name off a number: uh, one, two, three, or four. Three. Three. Okay. So let's see. Taking a look here. 
one, two, three. Our third queen over is our queen of hearts. Now it's interesting you chose a number three and got queen of hearts, because now that means we can do a special trick. See, all I have to do is I just give a little flick, and now we can do the green card trick. Okay. All right, nice. So we're off to, we're off to a good start. Now I know what you're probably thinking. So you had four choices, could have chosen any number of the numbers. So you're probably wondering, wait, I chose a number three, but what if I'd chosen a different number and landed on a different queen? Say you'd chosen a card that landed this number that landed us on the queen of diamonds. Well, what would happen then? Well, we'd be in a bit of a pinch because now we couldn't do the green card trick. Now, we'd have to do the purple card trick. Yeah, okay, I know, things are getting weird. It tends to happen with <laughs> magic. All right, now that's, that's the two red queens, but say somehow you'd end up with a number and you chosen either one of the black queens. Uh, let's use, for instance, the queen of clubs. Well, again, we'd have problems. We can't do the purple card trick and we can't do the green card trick. So instead, all I have to so instead, what do we have to do? We have to do the red card trick. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. I know. Now let's see. So that's, we've done three of the queens. You know, now that I think about it, it wouldn't have really been too bad. You could have chosen almost any of the queens except for the queen of spades. You see, we can't do anything with the queen of spades. You see, the queen of spades is actually the one in this entire, uh, my little packet here, that actually has a normal, normal back to it. See, the queen of spades is right out. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I guess it really didn't matter too much which uh, number you chose or which card, because all four queens, in fact, have a different color back. <laughs> Thank you very much, Seamus. Yeah, I know. You're all thinking, whoa, what's going on? Thank you very much. Here we go, then. Wow. And you may go return to your seat. Again, thank you for helping. All right. So I've done quite a bit of uh, card magic here. I want to go back to, uh, again, my favorite subject in magic. Uh, well, no, cards are my favorite subject. But you got to do a little variety every now and then. Time for a little bit more coin magic. So let's see here. I can find them. Where are they? Yep. You probably remember them, so not too much change here. One, two. Three, four, half dollars. Here, a little secret. Fours tends to be a magician's lucky number. Now the idea here with what happens with these is rather simple. First, I need to make one little point. Nice solid table. This is gonna come in, uh, in play in just a minute. So the way this works is I have one, two, three, four coins in the right hand. Okay. Just to show you one more time. Coins. If you go over here, now four coins and a solid table su surface. Um, well, four coins here. Watch. And that's all it takes. Excuse me now. If you go here, there we are. Even goes to the tablecloth, too. I have a coin. And under the hand, one, two, three half dollars. All right, well, that's just one coin. Magicians, again, like doing things in fours. So, set that coin off to the side. We have one, we have two, we have three coins. These coins all go over here in the left hand. And of course, I have my coin over here. Now again, one of the table here. And, well, you really can't hear it because I don't have the mic here, but little squeeze, there we go. One, two coins, and over here, two coins. Stop. Oh, wow, yeah, I'm getting people like, what the heck is he doing? All right, we're almost there. Two coins have gone through. We'll set those over, we'll set those over here on the side. So one, two coins, one coin, and two coin over here. Let's see, let's see if we can do this. Small table, watch. I think we got it. One, two, three coins through the table. All right, I'm getting some people applause. Thank you, thank you. All right, now this last coin. This last coin's always the interesting one. All right. 
let's see if I remember here. One last coin to go through the table. To be honest, I'm not sure we're going to be do this because the last coin is always the hardest one. So you have one last coin to go. One, two, three coins. All right, one, two, three coins. One last coin here. Let's go, and let's see if we can do this. No coins. One, two, three, four coins to the table. That's a pretty good miracle even for myself. Thank you very much. And we'll be back right after this for even more magic. No matter where you live, life in the ocean depends on you. Do your part to help protect it. Recycle and dispose of your trash properly. To learn what you can do, go to keepoceansclean.org. The 2013 Lewis B. O'Donnell Media Summit. Moderated by ESPN sports broadcaster and class of 87, Steve Levy. Coming to Waterman Theater November 6th. Stay connected by visiting mediasummit.org for updates. show, me and the guys, we like to loosen up a little bit. Blue, 42, hike! Every now and then, Dan likes to take it a little too far. But hey, the show's all about competition, so we'll take it. Stupid Dan with stupid football and stupid running. Hi, I'm CNN's Rob Marciano, and you're watching WTOP 10, your television station. Hey, how's it going? Sir, are you okay? What? Oh, this? It's probably nothing. I'm sure it'll go away. Go away? But, sir, that can't be good. No, it's cool, really. Do you want a napkin or something? Everything's fine. Thanks. You wouldn't ignore this. So why ignore the signs of a stroke? At the first warning signs, call 911 immediately because time lost is brain lost. Yeah. Welcome back to Illusions at the Table. My name is Andy Wallace, and this is a half hour full of magic. Now, as we get near the end of the show, I'm going to go, well, I've done a lot of card magic and a lot of coin magic, but I usually like to slip in something that's you, not, neither of the above, but still, we can do right here. And what I'm going to use is, it might be a little tricky to see here, but I have two rubber bands. Now, for this trick, uh, I do need people to tap into something you probably don't use very often. Your imagination. A, li a, little, a little secret about magicians. We never grow up. We have a gigantic ma imagination. Now, I'm going to use uh, these two rubber bands and tap into your imagination, because we're going to go, if you know the Star Trek reference, I am impressed, uh, into the final frontier, space. No, really. We'll start out. The only best way to start out in space, there's only one way to get out there. Our rocket ship. Yeah, might be a little tricky to see here, but. And this is how we're going to start our journey. So we take our rubber band rocket ship, and we shoot off past the Earth. This thing is imagination, so we can go at faster than the speed of light if we need to. We shoot past Mars, the asteroid belt, Pluto. We get out into uh, the Milky Way galaxy itself, and we come across the mysterious Planet X. Now, we don't have much time to stop here. We have to keep going. And we come across, and as we get out into the Milky Way galaxy, we, see, we get to see something we see every night here on Earth. But getting to see a close up is pretty good. We get to see a star. All right, not too bad, not too bad, but we still got a ways to go. So, let's see here. The way we're going to do this is now that we're out in the deep, vast reaches of space, we come across a little sign. You probably don't know what this means. I'm your tour guide, though. It means yield to UFOs. Fortunately, there are no, no UFOs out here. We can continue on our journey. So now, imagine we're in the deepest reaches of space, maybe outside the Milky Way galaxy, where the greatest, uh, where the cosmic greats, all sorts of things are out there, from black holes to supernovas, you name it. And we get to see a miracle, the birth of a of a double star. 
Now we're, now, we're pretty out far, but it's time to return back to Earth. And I would like to thank you all for using your imaginations, because when imaginations come together, magic can happen, and we bring back a souvenir. Whoa. An actual star. Thank you very much. We'll be back for one more piece of magic. The forest is precious. One careless act caused by people and its beauty could be gone for a lifetime. Protect our friends in the forest. Only you can prevent wildfires. Attention students and faculty. Avery Rental Properties is now renting for the next school year. Avery accommodates all group sizes, small or large. Avery Rental Properties, make our house your home. 24-hour maintenance, garbage removal, snow removal, and off-street parking. Avery Rental Properties, 315-343-5005. The 2013 Lewis B. O'Donnell Media Summit. Moderated by ESPN sports broadcaster and class of 87, Steve Levy. Coming to Waterman Theater November 6th. Stay connected by visiting mediasummit.org for updates. Show? I I'm on a show Wednesday at eleven thirty. Oh, I'm on a show Wednesday at eleven. What's it called? We cannot. Should people watch it? People should watch it. Do you like this top? It's so gay. Really? Yeah, it's totally gay. You know, you really shouldn't say that. Say what? Well, say that something's gay when you mean it's bad. It's insulting. What if every time something was bad, everybody said? Oh, that so girl wearing a skirt as a top. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cute jeans, though. When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. Welcome back to Illusions at the Table. This is our final trick for the evening. And of course, I had to go back to my strong point, cards. Now, I have with me the lovely Molly. She's going to be giving me a hand for this. Now, Molly, before, uh, during the break, I took one of the cards out from my blue deck, and I set it aside. This is going to be our prediction, okay. and we'll get to that in just a moment. So now, of course, for a prediction, I need you to go and select a card from the deck. But we're going to make this as impossible as we can, make it very random. So what I need you to do is uh, first think of a number between 10 and 20. Now, name it off for me, please, actually. 13. 13. So we'll deal down 13 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, that's, that's pretty good, but I want to make this even more random. Uh, we need a new number. Let's see. 13. Let's, add, let's take one, 13, add them together. 1 and 3 is 4. So let's go down here, 4 cards. 1, 2, 3, card number 4. Five. Let's take the space. Now, you had a free choice of which number you chose, right? Right. Could have been any one. We could have landed on any of these cards here, right? Right. All right. So now, now for the fun part. Molly, for the first time, would you please turn over my prediction? Just turn over the prediction. Oh there. Six of spades. That's, oh that's beautiful. Oh All right. But, you know, here's the problem. I'm very, very uh, OCD about my predictions. You see, this six of spades our prediction came from that blue back deck. Uh, I want a perfect prediction. This six of spades, that came from this... This uh, six spades came from my uh, red deck. Right. Uh, so they're close, very close, but not perfect. Again, I am very, very OCD about this. What I want you to do, uh, let's see, we'll turn this down. And uh, here, pick it up, like, just hold like this, and rub it against the back of uh, my prediction over there. If this worked, <laughs> turn it over. <gasps> there we go, a perfect exact oh match. <laughs> but, you know, that makes sense to me. I understand that. This is what I don't understand. You see, this trick would have failed if you picked any other card. Because if you hadn't picked the six of spades, well, I don't know what we would have done. Because you see, the six of spades, turns out, that was the entire card, the only card in the entire deck. <laughs> Even I don't know how, how that kind of worked. So thank you very, oh thank you very much, Molly. Thank you. That was and awesome. Thank you, yeah, and thank you all for tuning into my show. It's been a great evening. And Illusions at the Table, we, we'll be back with more magic in two weeks.
Thank you very much. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo.